G'day guys, so a lot of you guys have asked me about what sort of mods I want to be doing to my car. So I've broken it down into three separate things. So I'm looking at, you know, the very near future. I'm looking at sort of the, the future future. <laughs> and then I've also got my end result or my end goal for this car. So as I said before, all in all, I definitely want to get a track car before I do anything else to this car. There's going to be some little stuff that I talk about very soon that's, you know, I can do, you know, leading up to the track car because obviously I'm going to have no content otherwise. However, as I said, track car before anything at the moment. I'm just saving like crazy to try and get a track car. Now as for track cars, if you haven't watched in previous videos, I'm actually really, really, really keen and considering on a 350z they're going to cost about six and a half to about eight grand for a decent one that's going to be registered that's going to be the biggest thing is i'm going to have to get one that is registered because my car won't be able to physically tow it i don't have a towing car nor do i have the money for any of that sort of stuff so i'm going to have to look at a car that's going to be completely roadworthy registered everything i'm going to have to make sure it has everything so anyway moving on to the very near future goals for this car so very near future i want to start making a video about you know a little stuff that you can do to your car um, first of all i do definitely want to get a lip kit for this car and that includes front sides and back now i'm going to be making this stuff all by myself i know there's a company that does it but i don't know whether they do it for fgs anymore so there's probably no companies that make a lip kit all round for an fg and i've seen those little rubber universal kits and to be honest i don't you know i sometimes they can look wavy on cars and just you know I don't really like the look of them. So anyway, I've been looking at materials I can possibly use to get my end result, which is, you know, a decent lip. You know, I'm not looking for any downforce or anything, and people are going really slow in front of me. It's a 100 zone and I'm going 60. So there's like, um, there's a stuff made out of PVC. Um, I don't want to go with the plywood option. I know a lot of forms and stuff have said that you can use plywood and you just, you know, you paint it. I don't want to do that because I still feel like, even though no one else will notice, they'll just see a black lip, I know that it's plywood. It's just like, you know, I know there's a dent in the front bonnet or, you know, there actually isn't, but, you know, there's little things you would notice about your own car that, you know, you just, you know, as soon as you start cheaping out on things, you start looking at your car in a cheap manner. You know, I even noticed that with my dash spears, you know, even though they look decent and even though they look decent, they're reflective and they're really nice, I still see the orange peel in them and I can still see some parts, you know, where it just, I can still see some parts in it where you just, you know, you realize that, you know, you could have done a better job there and it makes you feel like the car's cheap. So I'm, I'm looking at materials for what I could possibly use for that. I'll most likely jump over to Aiden's house, the one that has the Vanish XR6 Turbo and probably make one up for not only my car, but also for his. So there should be heaps of content. They should be fairly easy to make. I won't be self-tapping it. I'll probably just drill through the bumper and then put some uh, some actual proper nuts in there just to make sure it's sturdy and I can you know, always take it off if I really want to. But yeah, that should be easily done. So that should be coming out hopefully, you know, whenever I decide to make it, you know, I'll put stuff up on Instagram and all that sort of stuff. And there's some other little things I want to do around my car, you know, like I want to get a color screen, which I'll be doing a video on that as well. You know, just some little bits around my car. I definitely want to just fix up the little fiddly bits, um, you know, like color screen. I want to definitely fix my engine bay, you know, fix some of the stuff and paint it black. Um, as I said, the lip kit and just some other little stuff that I want to do. I just want to dial this car in. I'm happy with all the big modifications at the moment, but it's just the small things now. So one of the things that I definitely want to do in the future, and I'm talking like, you know, six months time, 12 months time, you know, around that sort of area. This is definitely going to be after I get my track car. I can assure you that. So at the moment, I'm currently like tossing up different prices on an XR6 Turbo Rec or possibly an FGX XR8 Rec or an FPV V8 Rec. So pretty much what I wanted to do from the very start with this car was to put a Coyote 5 litre supercharged in it. As much as I love Barra Turbos and I will own one one day, especially with dad's background and me growing up with dad's cars, like as in the XC Cobra and also the XB that he's building and just some and just some other cars like, you know, over in the States they have the Dodge. You know, V8s have been a big part of my life and I absolutely love V8. I love the sound, even though it's not as fast as an XR6 Turbo, I do definitely love the sound of the V8. So if I can find a wreck that's, you know, decently cheap enough where I can get, where I can use it as a donor car for a Coyote swap, oh my God, that'd be amazing. However, I will swap for a Turbo Barra, you know, I will, Coyote would be nice and that's my, <clears throat> that's my end result for my car as I want it to be V8. However, I do definitely will suffice for a Barra Turbo because I definitely need one in my life. 
So that's my future future goals. Now I'm talking about the end result for my car. So eventually I want to get my car to this point. And depending on how Australian laws go and stuff like that, I do definitely want to wide body this car. Now it hasn't been done before for an FG. I've done lots and lots and lots of different designs which I'll throw up on the screen right now. Heaps of different photoshops about wide body FGs. I've also seen a couple like I know Tristan Johnson from Royal Auto Styling. He's looking into getting one as well. I know there's Smurf 6 which is a high horsepower F6 Ute or XS6 Turbo. I know that he's had some renderings done but I definitely want to go to a wide body company, something like Rocket Bunny, something like that and definitely just go all out with this car. You know? However, this definitely depends on what the Australian laws are. I think at the moment that wide body cars are completely illegal. I think it's 86s. A lot of people in Australia wide body their 86 or their BRZ. Um, I know that it is illegal and I know that they've been done for it, but I'm not quite sure whether you can get a mod plate for it or something like that. It's a possibility at this point. I definitely have to do more research into it. Maybe one of you guys know and can leave it in the comments. However, that's definitely something I want to do. I really love that, you know, really fierce track looking cars. And you know, I'll wide body a car one day, but yeah, as for, I don't know whether I'll do it to this car or, you know, I'm not quite sure. And as I said before, my end result for this car would be to make it V8. Don't, I don't care whether it's 5.4 supercharged, I don't care whether it's 5 litre Coyote supercharged, I just want this thing to have a V8 in it. Whether I go to Barra Turbo and then V8 in the future, or whether I just go 5 litre Coyote straight up, I just, I need this thing V8. It'd just be my end goal. And then after it's all done, I want to do an Australian road trip in it. I know it sounds really stupid, you know, building up a really nice car and then wanting to drive it, but definitely to do an Australian road trip of some kind, you know, whether it's go all the way around or whether it's just an east coast road trip. I want to do a trip where I can just travel down the coast, I can work with companies and put on meets for you guys. That'd be awesome for me to come around and meet as many of you guys as possible. I know there's been heaps of you guys that have been wanting me to put on meets and stuff like that because apparently a meet and greet would be cool. I didn't actually realize I'd have, you know, fans as such at this, this early on in my YouTube career. It'd be really cool to show off my pride and joy to every single one of you guys because I know that YouTube is going to help me fulfill my dreams of making this car my ultimate dream car pretty much. If you guys have any suggestions to things that I should do to my car, leave it in the comments or message me on Instagram or Facebook. I really want to hear those ideas because I definitely do want to make this thing as unique as I possibly can. However, try and keep it as street legal as I possibly can for tracking and for road tripping and, you know, just doing that sort of stuff. So anyway, thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you very soon. Catch us later.